Drought conditions are nothing that West Texas isn't used to. However, these conditions are harsh on the plants we grow on our lawn. But there are ways to select drought tolerant plants. Work the soil, dig it up, loosen it up, get oxygen to where the roots can get the oxygen and incorporate organic matter. That does go a long way to helping plants have deeper roots and the deeper the roots, the longer those plants have access to water when it gets hot and dry. Living organisms help your plants stay alive as well. Most of the things that improve the soil involve living organisms, and most of them are, are aerobic. And when you go too deep, there's no air down there, and you don't really you waste your, your mulch and your compost if you go too deep. When it comes to watering plants, the best foundation to have is mulch. In a 10 foot by 10 foot area, 60 gallons of water can evaporate in one day. If you mulch it, cover the ground with a mulch, a bark or something, or gravel, zero evaporates. There are certain plants such as desert plants that don't need much water once they're established. They, you can have a beautiful landscape with desert plants but that's not that we're not limited to that only. Walk-ins says earthkind.tamu.edu can help you find other selections of plants. You can go there and click on a link that says the Earthkind plant selector. You can put in your zip code and it'll give you a list of good drought tolerant plants for your area. Have no fear planters because come fall when it starts to cool down, it's planting season. Jenna Kelly, KLST News.